what is up guys today we're going to be unboxing the redmi note 8 pro uh, so let's go ahead and get into it this is a 200 dollar budget phone that's going for around 220 to 230 i believe so check out the links down below be sure to subscribe for the gaming test and the full review of this phone and all the uh comparisons so let's go ahead and get started all right so let's go ahead and get this plastic off and one of the things you're going to notice right off the bat is how heavy the box actually is it's really heavy probably the heaviest box that I've ever had on this channel so the phone must be super heavy so this is the pearl white and uh, should be really nice looking so let's check it out so let's see what we got here pamphlet we got the sim injection tool right here along with the user manuals and we have a clear case. It's a regular gel skin case. So very nice. I love that they uh, throw that in there. All right. So here's the phone with all these. But yeah, the phone is the phone has a nice weight to it. I mean, it's it's got to be heavier than the One Plus Seven Pro. Yeah, it's it's heavier than the Pro. Wow. Um. We have the charger. This is the fast charger, of course, and we have USB Type C, so uh, no headphones. I think that's the only thing that's missing. So let's go ahead and get this out of the plastic. Get the SIM instructions off of here. And guys, this is a beautiful phone. I mean, it is really, it reminds you of a pearl, really. Uh, it's beautiful. It kind of has a blue, white, and then in the light, it kind of turns pink. Uh, so we've got the triple camera set up or the quad camera setup actually there's a fourth camera right here along with the flash fingerprint scanner right here which I don't know how I feel about that because it looks like you can easily smudge uh, the camera right here and then uh, it, this is actually glass too it's actually glass uh, metal frame power button volume rockers you have the sim tray slot we also keep the headphone jack which is awesome USB type C and the speaker port. Alright, let's go ahead and get this plastic off. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and boot this up. And uh, this phone, you know, it's a, it's a, it has a nice way. I just can't believe it's heavier than the OnePlus 7 Pro. I thought that was a heavy phone. This is, this is kind of heavy. So let's go over the specs because it's got a 4,500 milliamp battery, which I think is part of the reason why, um, you know, it's got like that weight to it. Alright, so let me just read off the official specs for you guys. Uh, so we do have an IPS display. It is 6.53 inches, 1080p, 395 for the PPI, 500 nits for the brightness. This is running Android 9 on top of my UI 10, um, so that's really nice. Uh, we do have the Helio G90T processor along with the Mali G76. So this should be very, very good for gaming. Uh, like I said, subscribe for that video. Uh, micro SD support up to 256 gigs, 64 gigabytes of storage, and 6 gigs of RAM. You also have UFS 2.1 on here as well. The quad camera setup, 64 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel ultra wide. 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor uh, shoots in 2160p. And then the selfie camera is a 20 megapixel and that shoots in 1080p. You also, like uh, like I said, have the headphone jack. Uh, NFC is on board. You, you even have an infrared port on here. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, the fingerprint scanner on the back and that 4,500 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging. So this phone has a really nice spec sheet for uh, the cheap price of that $200 uh, price point. Very interesting. All right, guys. So we are in the phone. And the first thing I want to check out is watching videos on here. You do have the little water drop notch display. So let's go ahead and check out the color accuracy in this IPS panel. All right, so you do have a 1080p display, and uh, it does look pretty good. Like I said, you have that water drop notch, a uh, pretty thin bezel. So overall, I think the viewing experience is really nice. Uh, you're not getting uh, washed out colors when changing. So very, very nice. Looks really good. Now let's go ahead and check out the speaker on here. Turn the volume all the way up. So not bad at all. Has a nice thump. Um, it's pretty loud. 
Now it's not the loudest that I've heard from a single firing speaker. It's not up there with the G7, uh, but it is uh, pretty decent for watching movies or playing music out loud or whatever. It has a nice little kick to it. Uh, pretty good audio quality. Now we'll do my uh, full gaming test, uh, PUBG, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, all that stuff. But I have been playing little games on here, and uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, the phone, like I said, is a little bit on the bigger side, uh, but I'm really curious about how battery life is going to perform on this guy. And uh, you have that little water drop notch right here, which is not too intrusive at all. Uh, so I really like the, the gaming experience. I haven't noticed it getting really hot or anything like that. So we're just going to have to, uh, you know, play some tougher games and see if this phone will heat up. Uh, but so far, the experience has been pretty good. Haven't really experienced any lag with this uh, processor. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the UI and let's kind of just go through the phone. So over here uh, we have this which I, you guys know I prefer Google now over this. But uh, what I like is that they do have the Google search bar right here now. So that's pretty cool. Um, so uh, this is the one where you don't have a uh, app drawer. All the icons are put on your uh, screen which is fine. I don't really mind. I really love the uh, app icon artwork as well. One of my favorites. We come up here. Uh, we have flashlight, screenshot. Uh, all the usual stuff, reading mode, lock screen, uh, D&D, battery saver, NFC on board, let's see what else we have hiding, a screen recorder, so that's a nice addition, we do have that. So you do have that remote, so we can uh, use that option as well, which I'm going to check out in the full review, so be sure to check that out. And uh, let's go ahead and hop into settings here, so it'll tell us what version we're on, system, uh, apps, updater, security status. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, more, we have Bluetooth tethering, wireless display on here, Android Beam, uh, just some NFC stuff, all the usual stuff, lock screen, sleep after one minute, double tab, race to wait, wait, lock after, blah, blah, blah. launch camera, double press the volume button, uh, that's useful, pocket mode, uh, lock touch gestures when placed in pocket, uh, lock screen format, we can go ahead and change that around if we want to. Just leave this stuff alone. Display, reading mode, contrast and colors, dark mode. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Uh, notch. So we can go ahead and hide the notch if we want to. Uh, I don't really mind since it is a water drop notch. It's not. It's not one of the worst notches. Uh, what the heck? It's not one of the worst notches that uh, you know, you can really have on here. So it's not really a big deal. Show icons for incoming call, show connection speed, carrier name, battery indicator, all the usual stuff. Full screen mode so we can mess with that for certain applications as well. Home screen, app vault, so, uh, uh, fill calls, locks home screen layout. So pretty much just the usual stuff. It's nothing to uh nothing really new on here. The same UI stuff. Uh, we have our wallpapers kind of hub, I guess. You can download all the wallpapers. So I like that they throw that in there. They have some pretty nice wallpapers uh, in there, along with themes. If you want to go ahead and theme your device, customize it. Uh, the fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So let's go ahead and show you that. So it is fast. It's all. It's it's pretty much instant. And then face unlock. If I can do it from behind the camera. Yeah. So it's very fast, but just remember that the um, face unlock is not as secure, so somebody can get into it with a photo, or if somebody looks like you, uh, then they can get into your phone. So just do know that. Adaptive battery, battery optimizations, digital well-being is on here. Yeah, so here we go, special features. So we do have that game turbo mode, which you guys saw pop up, uh, which is pretty much just a game booster, and you have all your gaming settings. So if you're really into gaming on your phone, you can go ahead and mess with all this stuff. Quick replies, so it'll basically give you AI replies. Uh, so, you know, if you have a message that pops up, and then it'll basically give you something to say. Uh, it'll read and give you something to say. You can turn that on. So before we get into the photos, I'll just show you the camera app. So we have our 0.6, uh, 1x, and then our 2x. And then we have macro mode button right here. We also have the uh, beauty filter. HDR, we can turn that on. Flash, and this does shoot in 2160p. Let's go to settings, we have our watermark, all that good stuff, picture quality, high, 
blah, blah, blah. 64 megapixels portrait you do have a night mode on here uh, which I will test out panorama and you have the pro mode you can mess with the ISO and all that good stuff to get your shots just right come over you have video short video and then we have slow motion video as well and uh, you can shoot in t uh, 2160p uh, which is nice so let's go ahead and get into the photos I'm not going to judge it uh, harshly right now but the photos were actually pretty decent um, so I, you know I'm going to take it outside when it's daylight and uh, the photos were pretty decent the front facing camera was really cool uh, it gave off some nice colors the images weren't too soft what I was really having fun with was this macro camera so pretty much took the picture of the Funko Pop and you can get really close in on subjects as you can see got really close now you do lose some uh, picture quality uh, compared to the other cameras since it's not as high quality but it's really nice and uh, pretty fun to play around with to get some close up shots just in case you have like text that you want to read uh, you can use your phone just put it up take a picture and you'll be able to read it here's the wide angle camera now here's the regular shot here's the wide angle camera you get a lot more content in the photo Here's another shot which came out really nice. As you can see, we've got nice blur in the background, very color accurate. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with the camera, but like I said, I'm gonna wait uh, until I can take it outside and see what it can really do. All right, so my first impressions is I really love this uh, phone. Uh, the weight of it is really nice. It feels very, very premium. Uh, feels like at least a $400 smartphone. Uh, so the cameras are pretty decent. Uh, you do have that headphone jack, which I love as well. The display on here as we saw is pretty nice uh, very color accurate so I'm just gonna have to play with it some more and I'll give you guys my full uh, review be sure to let me know if you want to see anything specific about this phone uh, be sure to subscribe for the uh, gaming test and I'll catch you guys in the next one